Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to do the research part of the poster unit. Go ahead and open up Plan Endangered. You are going to be taking notes on four endangered animals. This is an example of what the plan will look like when you're done. Take note that the information has incomplete sentences. For now, you're just going to take notes. So go ahead and click on the website. You're going to click on the drop down menu where it says all animals and choose an animal. If the animal you want to research is endangered but not on this list, you could go to a Google search and type in the animal you're looking for and then possibly National Geographic. You want to make sure that the source is credible. After all, just because it's online doesn't mean that it's accurate. That's why I specified National Geographic. But for now, I'm just going to use Defenders of Wildlife. After searching, I'm going to choose the walrus to get my information. You will need three interesting facts about the animals you choose and two reasons that they are endangered. Feel free to read the entire page. There's not a whole lot of information. You can also get some of your facts under the fast facts. So I'm going to go ahead and write down the weight. As you can see, males can weigh up to 3,700 pounds, while females up to 2,700 pounds. Well, on the plan, I will write the animal's name down. I will replace fact one, male weigh 3,700 pounds, and then female 2,700 pounds. Now notice that is not a complete sentence. You will be coming back and turning these into complete sentences. I will return to the website to get more facts. The lifespan up to 40 years. So I will put in lifespan up to 40 years. I will return for more information. So I did want to read a little bit to get information from this general section. I found this interesting. The tusks can be more than three feet long in males and about two and a half feet long in females. So I'll write the notes. Male tusks three feet long, female 2.5 feet long. I now have my three facts. Now I need to find out why they are threatened. After reading again, I did see that the tusks are more than three feet long, so I'm going to add that to my poster. Male tusks more than three feet long. To find the threats, you would click on the drop down arrow and choose threats. You would only need to list specific reasons that are causing them to be endangered. One is climate change and the other is oil spills and ship traffic. So I will take one and I will type in climate change and then oil spills and ship traffic. You will then turn these into complete sentences at a later time. I did want to point out that students will copy and paste from the site, which is plagiarism. You don't want to do that, and that's one of the reasons that you're being encouraged to take notes, is to prevent you from plagiarizing, and it will help you with writing sentences. So let's say, for example, I copied this to put down as one of my sentences for why they are endangered. I would do Control C, return to the poster, and let's just go ahead and I'm going to choose edit paste without formatting and the teacher can easily determine if you've plagiarized by selecting that sentence, copying that sentence, going to a Google search and pasting it in. And there is the website. So do keep that in mind. You don't want to plagiarize because it is unethical. It's going to help you be a better writer and hopefully you'll get some interesting facts about the animals that you're doing research on. This concludes the session on how to do the research part of the poster unit. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.